Hi, I'm Hannah Erica, and this is the Hannah E. Gets Crafty channel. And in this tutorial, I'm going to do um, drawer lighter, and I'm using wallpaper to do it. I got it from Walmart. It's called Roommates, and I thought it looked really good. It's not what I would call cheap wallpaper. I don't know. It's like $35, so it looks pretty good to me. Um, I found that when I was looking to do this, um, it was about four videos, five videos I can find on how to line drawers. So either people don't really like the line drawers or just not many videos out there. So I decided to make one. I am so new at this that this was my first time. Um, it was... An experience but <laughs> it did get done and I wanted to share I guess a collection of what I've learned so that maybe this can be another video to help you work your way towards lining your drawers because I decided to level up a little bit and start lining my pieces that have drawers in it so hope you enjoy so this is what I gathered together to do the drawer lining. We actually have the wallpaper that I picked up at Walmart. Um, the X-Acto knife that, from my crafts. Um, also my vinyl. Um, and the sponge a ruler that I have in my craft room. And I got some top coat. You'll see why later got a dry uh, rag, a wet, damp rag, and I got like some sanders just in case. I heard that in some of it, and definitely scissors. Um, so this is the drawer I'm working with. It looked like it just seems to come up with some crumbs, and there's a little bit of damage from, um, I guess, me cleaning and scrubbing it. It's a laminate piece, so some of it just couldn't handle some of the scrubbing I did to get it clean so if you see something on it it's something that does not come out but it needs to be thoroughly cleaned and dried that's what I did and so I did decide to not measure it which I knew I was going to do that and kind of just make sure I have a big enough piece which I did see like on some of the tutorials just make sure the piece exceeds it on all sides and that is what's best for me because I'm not big on cutting even when I do my crafts it's like I need to just make sure it's a bigger piece because I have fixed it later so I really wish I would have done this upstairs in my craft room on my craft table because it's something that would have been a better option I have the exact table upstairs with measurements and it's just neater and cleaner this is like in the garage with all the furniture and storage and things like that also this frog tape is what I saw in one of the videos to hold it still but my wallpaper is not rolling up on me so this really wasn't necessary but I decided to just use it because it can get a little crazy and it's best to just have something kind of keeping it in place so I'm not sure if it helped much but it's nice to not have it fall to the front to the back just kind of stay in place and so um, I decided to just take out just a little bit not that much just a little just to get started and um, start placing it downward I'm a little nervous because this is like my first first time never done this before so I'm just trying to figure out a best way to put it in and kind of measure it up I want a little bit extra so that I can cut it and make it as sharp as possible um, at this time I'm not paying attention to what's happening because it's not going to work this way um, the drawer is not a perfect rectangle because of the roundness of the bottom of the drawer. It's not going to work this way, but I don't notice it just yet until I start working with the other side and then I, I will realize that I can't 
finish it this way. <laughs> I had to take it out again. But I do want to tell you that I've moved a little too fast. Um, I didn't speed up any of this part, so I wanted you to see how I'm moving. And for me to be new to this, I really should have just cut a tiny bit at a time. And I really should have watched my angles more so. Um, and because it's paper, I did have a few issues with the paper. I've heard it and it's true. If you're not careful, it could tear a little bit. And then I'm realizing that no matter how I try to straighten this, it's not going to work. So I'm a little bit stressed at the time, but I said, no, let me take it out. I did see a tutorial where she did cut a little bit of the shape. So I said, let me just take the bottom half, give it that little partial moon shape and maybe it would fit in much better that way. I'm satisfied that it's close and that's what I needed because I plan on having some kind of hangover so I just wanted to make sure it was close to that look so I'm still trying to get my thought process together and I didn't want to take too much out but I needed a better angle so I had to be very careful because I opened up the wrong angle, it made things a little bit more difficult for me. It's best not to have too much of it out. At this point, I was ready to toss it if, <laughs> if it's not acting right. So, And then because I took too much of the paper off the back, I was getting wrinkles and I forgot about the smoother. So I was using my hand and then I grabbed the, um, the smoother that I use for my vinyl. And um, it has two different angles. It has like a very straight thin one and then it has a curved one. And I always used to use the straight one, but since I'm working with the wallpaper, I really should have used the other side that's more rounder because the actual tool is looks almost like you like a roller almost like a paint roller but it's really tiny and so I should have kept that in mind that is a reason why it's so flat and so smooth because I made a mistake and damaged two parts of it even though it wasn't severe um, I was able to lay it back down and it didn't stick up but I did notice what I did and it was something to learn from so, yeah. But I'm getting happy when I actually get it down because I realize it's in. And that was the hardest part right there, getting it in there. Time for the X-Acto knife and to cut it right at the base in the corner. Which I didn't quite do that right because I was moving too fast. I don't know why I moved too fast and try to get it done too fast this is not something you want to rush I should have um, did a little piece at a time and just checked and see how that was going instead I did a bigger angle and it kind of started going awry and then I saw scratches on the back of the piece which is not wood so it's nothing I can do to fix it too much so Definitely take your time.
I was having trouble with the angles in the camera, so that was another thing. If you do this without all that, you definitely won't have any issues. I watched a few videos and I noticed that they put a top coat on there which is shocking so this is the clear top coat that I've used on the rest of the piece uh, this is country chic and um, I realized when I was putting it on there why it's so important because the paper you know it needs to be protected it's not like it's strong and you don't want the paper damaged and messed up so the top coat Definitely, it just kind of seals it in and makes it look so much better. Um, kind of finishes it. So I had some scratches on the sides. I decided to scratch, I mean, the, um, to wipe that down. There is like a little piece I see sticking out on the left side, which I did fix that later after the video, <laughs> right before I staged it. But um, please check out the link so you can see the piece that this goes to. And thank you so much for watching.